Hi everyone, welcome to the Automotive Logistics and Supply Chain Digital Strategies Red Sofa. We're going to be sharing uh, interviews and insights from many of our leaders uh, across the, the industry uh, and, and speakers. And I'm so pleased that Birgit Fuchs, the Vice President of uh, Supply Chain for Automotive and Infineon Technologies, could be with us. Uh, Birgit, the semiconductor industry, of course, faced big crisis in recent years in, in capacity and shortages. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what roles digital tools and technology are now playing to help you at Infineon to manage that supply and avoid the sort of issues that we've, we've recently faced? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Yeah, definitely what we learned over the last uh, years was that the semiconductor supply chain is quite fragile. Yeah, and it needs a lot of cooperation. Yeah, and we also need to look into topics long term. It took a while uh, to really get to the understanding along of the supply chain that our production circles are quite long and um, this is what the whole industry needs to cope with. Yeah? Um, we of course also need uh, to apply digital services here yeah? and just two um, examples is on the one hand side if you look about planning mm -hmm. it's getting more and more long term yeah? because the semiconductor content is increasing yeah? and what we do here is we loop in long-term capacity into our system. At the same time, we need to also get demand in with a much stronger commitment. Yeah? So we see this is needed and what we do here, we digitalize really the customer contracts, yeah? take it in and we connect it to our planning world and at the end to our order fulfillment. Yeah? So we map it to our capacity planning and then to be reliable to our customer according to the contracts, we also do our confirmations according to that. That's very fascinating. Digitalization has played a role in, in sort of confirming and monitoring the, the, these contracts and this volume to help you with your planning. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about what role, if any, artificial intelligence and machine learning are playing in, let's say, managing this planning in your supply and, and as, you, as, you, as you plan ahead too? So some examples. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, I, I give you some, uh, one more probably in the supply chain and one more from a logistics perspective. Yeah. Yeah? So we have two topics. One um, is the customer order behavior. You know, in the order management, we have a hell of data. Mm -hmm. yeah? So we now use really machine learning yeah, to uh, get a better understanding, to see where the outliers are, and we create a kind of heat maps. Yeah? And the heat maps help us to really understand what better service a customer needs at what point of time. And at the same time, um, we also see um, how we can, uh, uh, how, where turning points are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is always in our industry where it is, so you can detect it pretty early. Another topic, um, and this we do already a bit a longer time, um, is really a demand forecasting. We also just talked about it. Yeah, So in, in a 26 weeks horizon, we really predict today the demand and round about 100 planners do not plan it anymore. Yeah, We just take it from a demand forecaster, 4.0, uh, how we call it, uh, and we uh, use it already about 75%. And the accuracy even was increasing. Yeah? So this was also a quite nice example. Fantastic examples and, and real progress being made. Another point I wanted to raise was collaboration and, and in, uh, across the supply chain, particularly, let's say, between different departments, avoiding these silos. Uh, are you seeing that uh, change and improve in Infineon and then perhaps also in the context of your automotive supply chains? Uh -huh. um, yeah, probably uh, first starting internally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Probably first to mention also since two or three years we have a chief digital transformation officer. Uh, so it's also this end-to-end -end perspective coming really top down. Yeah, But if you look into um, projects, we uh, for example have, we manage also our production sites as a global virtual fab and we even connect it to our ERP systems. And this whole project project is not, not managed as silo, it's a project where all functions are in. This is one topping in a project, but when it comes to a rollout and afterwards a sustaining function, you need really to build experts which understand this, which deliver the KPIs, mm -hmm. yeah, which make the process up and running, which ensure the master data is there, that the production can run. And this is uh, where we really started to build sustainable teams which are cross-functionally. Yeah? And this is, I would say, the good trigger to have it from such a big project. Yeah? But it takes also a lot of effort to help the people. Also from uh, from management perspective, which is also a kind of digital leadership, I would say, where we need to help to bring it into the organization. And finally, because that's a perfect transition point, we're, we're on a panel together on 
changing skills and, 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 and the people side, if you like, of digital transformation. You've alluded to some of it right there. What are some of the key areas, skills and retraining that you're focusing on with your team and Infineon to, to accelerate in digital transformation? Yeah. Let me start also probably a bit more uh, overarching first. So we're driving uh, digitalization and decarbonization in Infineon. And what we need for that is innovation. Yeah? And innovation you, you can have if you give the people the freedom to think loud, to speak out, to test, to fail. Um, and, and this is where we pretty much put diversity and inclusion in the focus. Mm -hmm. yeah? And this is what we also do in supply chain. And besides that... Um, we, we think about what do we need. Two topics we need on the technical side. It's the supply chain is complex. So we educate experts to know and understand the supply chain. And we need to combine it with experts who have machine learning, AI and analytics capabilities. From the business side, I always say business analytics, mm -hmm. uh, business analysts and data engineers are important. Mm -hmm. yeah? And with this, you can create good use cases. What we in the initial phase mainly forgot was a change and transformation capabilities. So to have people who can help to bring the change into the organization, who can communicate, who can do storytelling. This is a capability we definitely need. And I mentioned already digital leadership. Yeah, We need to act differently if we manage agile teams. Yeah, We need to think differently. And uh, yeah, we, we need to create an environment where also our business pulls and change towards another behavior. Very good, thank you so much. These are exactly the sort of insights we're, we wanted to share with our audience and it reflects exactly what we're talking about here at Automotive Logistics and Supply Chain Digital Strategies. Thank you so much for joining us on The Red Sofa. Okay, thanks to you.